Okay, so welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we have just a uh, simple indefinite integral where we are just integrating the um, the error function of x dx, and um, the error function is it's a special non-elementary function that's it has the characteristic as a, like a sigmoid function, which basically has uh, it looks kind of like the curve in a shape of an S, and it's heavily used in um, some applications in mathematics such as like uh, probability statistics and partial differential equations. Um, interesting thing, well it's not really going to be needed in this video, but you know the error function is actually an odd function and you can actually prove this where if you put your input from negative x, um, you can actually show that um, it's an odd function through that whole um, substitution. Well, really, when I say it like that, I should probably also define what the um, the function is equal to, or rather, there. In other words, define as the definition of an error function is that e r f of x is equal to two divided by the square root of pi, and then multiply with the integral from zero to x of e to the power negative t square um, dt. So yeah, um, you can show that um, it's odd just simply putting your um, output, your input for negative x onto here and then using the substitution to show that it's an odd function, um, negative error function of x. So that's neat. But um, you know, this is not really important. So we just actually want to um, calculate the indefinite, um, the indefinite integral of the error function. One way we can actually do this, well, it's the only common way that to do this is basically just doing um, integration by parts. So what we can do is that we let u equals, so we want to choose something that's easy to differentiate and something um, and then a piece that's um, easy to integrate. So what's easy to integrate is uh, we let dv equals dx and we let u equals um, the error function of x, right? Uh, dv is equal dx. Okay, and then we know how to integrate this. This is just that v is equal to x. But now the question is, how do you differentiate um, the error function x? Well, simply, it's pretty simple. You could just actually just use the fundamental theorem of calculus over here. So if I just plug x onto here, and um, of course that gets rid of the whole get that gets rid of the whole integration um, process. But you have to take the derivative of x, which is just one, so that's fine on its own. And simply, it's just two divided by the square root of pi and then um, times e to the negative x squared uh, dx. So now you can actually see that we can just plug the pieces together and simply we just do our um, integration by parts formula u times v minus v times um, or minus the integral of v du. So let's see x times um, the error function of x then subtract this with the integral of um, v du so then this is just um, 2 and then divided by square root of pi x and then e to the negative uh, x squared dx. Um, now 2 over square root of pi is it's just a constant so I can move that outside. So we have, or am I writing equal? It's supposed to be minus 2 divided by square root of pi. Then we have the integral of x e to the power of negative x squared dx. And then um, integrating this is simple. You just simply just do a u substitution. So in this case, we're going to let u equals um, negative x squared. So let's see, u equals, um, well, how about this? Uh, we'll actually call, um, we'll just say u is equal to x squared, right? All right. And then um, du is equal to 2x dx. Okay, I'll just divide two to both sides. So we have that this is one half du is equal to x dx. Okay, and then we just plug the substitution. Rather, um, I can move the one half outside and then the twos will cancel. So we have um, just one divided by the square root of pi. And then we integrate this with, let's see, the x dx cancels. We just replace it with the du and then it's just e to the uh, negative u du and then you could also do u substitution again from here but i already know that well you guys already know that um e to the power negative u um integrating that is just negative e um negative e to the power negative u so we have 
this, negative u over square root of pi. All right, and then just plug in the u back in. So we have negative e minus uh, x squared and then divided by square root of pi. And so then we just, um, we just calculated this um, piece over here. So substituting it back, we have a minus and then a minus that cancels. So we have that um, it'd be x times e, um, the error function of x plus um, e to the negative x squared divided by the square root of pi. And then since this is an indefinite integral, don't forget to add your c. And there we have it, like so. The um, indefinite integral of the error function of this box is this box right over here. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Um, it's actually a little, it's actually simpler than you think it is. So um, that's pretty neat. So yeah, uh, that's a pretty cool if you ask me.